guys, 2018. Hope you had a great holiday. Uh, as you can see from the intro, uh, over here where I live, it's very cold. It's been very cold and a lot of snow. And most of our days are spent inside with the dogs, trying to entertain them because we can't send them outside. It's too cold. Their paws are freezing. And uh, basically, that's what we've been doing all holiday. Um, also, it gives me more time to be in the workshop because I can't be outside, really. Uh, so I'm preparing more tutorials and more videos for you guys. Uh, in the coming year, 2018, I'm going to start doing uh, video logs of my day-to-day -day stuff. So what I'm working on and stuff like that. So you'll see more videos coming up on YouTube soon about that stuff. And I hope you check those out as well. Uh, so let's get right into this tutorial today. Uh, what we're going to be concentrating on is this little guy right here. It's the APDS-9960. And I'll put a picture here to make sure that's the right name of it. Uh, it's basically three modules in one. Uh, the first one is a gesture engine, so it can detect when you pass left, right over it. So that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, the other one that it has it has a proximity sensor that is good from four inches to eight inches. So it's very precise in uh, that small uh, that small range there. And the last part that it has it has an RGB. Uh, engine that can detect colors. Uh, so let me just zoom out here. So what we're going to use, we're, today we're going to use the gesture uh, engine that's on this guy. Uh, so I'm going to control a NEMA 17 stepper motor that's connected to an easy driver. Uh, we've done a lot of tutorials using the easy drivers. You can check those out right here. I'm using a Mega for this, but you could use a Uno, a Nano, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind is that this guy is rated for 3.3 volts and uh, most of the Uno boards the Mega, the Uno, the Nano, they all use five volt levels. So I'm using this little I2C logic level converter here. And the way this guy works is that you put all the pins coming from the uh, Mega on one side. So you have the five volt ground and all the pins here. And this one converts it to 3.3 volt that goes to the module. Some people say that this guy will work on five volts and I believe it could. Uh, but if you you could damage it that way, so these guys are very cheap. They're like three four bucks each So if you want to make sure just use that there's no programming involved here You're just having to connect one side to another side and it's bi-directional, So it goes both ways. So that's why this guy is here So the way this is gonna work when I pass when I uh, I'm gonna control the speed direction and Start and stop of this motor with just moving my hand over this little module uh, so there you go guys, that's the tutorial today. So now what we're going to do, we're going to look at the code and we'll come back and test it all out. So let's go check that out. Alright, uh, before we start looking at the code, um, I did the modification in the library itself that we're using for this tutorial. Uh, in the library, it seems that the LED current is too high uh, and it didn't work right, out of, right away out of the box with the Mega I'm using, the Mega board. Uh, it, they say that it works uh, with a Uno. I didn't try it, uh, but what I would suggest is that you try it without modification. And if it works for you, then fine. But if it doesn't work, you need to make this change right here. Uh, so you go into your Arduino libraries and you go into the library itself in SRC. And this is the file you need to modify. So here it is. And what you need to find is this line in it right here. And right now it says it will say 300 and I brought it down to 100 for me, resave the file and that made it work with the mega board. Uh, so like I said, try it out without modification. And if it doesn't work for you, then go into the, uh, the file here and modify this value and it should work. So now let's go check out the code. All right, so here's the code we're gonna use today. Um, I'm using a couple of uh, Libraries in this one, the Excel stepper library, of course, we've used before. And this one here made specifically for the module we're using. Um, I invite you guys always to go check brainybuzz.com slash tutorials, uh, where I create a page for almost every one of the tutorials I do here on YouTube. And when you go there, you'll find that page and you'll find links for the libraries. Also a copy of the code if you want to copy and paste it and more information. So I invite you guys, if you're interested into, into any of my tutorials, to check out the page and get more information there. Uh, okay, with that being said, uh, we're going to go fairly quickly through this. Uh, the Excel stepper uh, setup here, we're using the easy driver, which pin is connected to what. And here we have gesture interrupt connected to pin 2, which is 
interrupt zero on the mega board and the uno board also i believe uh this gets used when the board the little board um, the uh, 9960 detects something in front of it it will throw out an interrupt so for us that means okay we're ready something is in front of it so let's read the gesture or the proximity or anything we want uh if we didn't have that we would just keep checking 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 and we slow down the code so that's how that works uh we're initializing the module we got a couple of variables here to keep track of the speed the direction and if an interrupt has happened or not uh, th these are for the stepper motor then we set the max speed to 1000 and we set the speed at the beginning to step speed which is zero so the motor will not run when we start uh, then we connect uh, we say it's an input for the gesture interrupt here I was using the serial monitors, so I was using it to debug the code while I was creating it, so I could keep track of the variables as I was uh, writing the code. So that's a good practice. You use serial monitor and then you throw out information on there to make sure that your variables are actually changing the way you want them to. Uh, then we attach the interrupt. So interrupt zero, which is on pin two, like I said, it's gonna run this function, interrupt routine. We'll see that at the bottom when it's falling, so when it's going low. Uh, then we initialize the module, we enable the sensor, and here's our main loop. So the main loop is very short because we're doing most of the stuff in functions. So the way it works is that when it detects an interrupt, it will first thing detach the interrupt. We're detaching the interrupt because we want to do stuff before reading the interrupt again. Uh, so that way we can do what we want, and then at the end we'll reattach the interrupt as you can see here. So we detach the interrupt zero, we do the end all gesture function, we'll see that right after, and we reset the flag to zero. And then after that, we say stepper run speed, and that will run the stepper in one direction at the speed that we decided at the beginning. So at the beginning it's zero, so it will not run. And if you enter a minus value in there, at the set speed, instead of let's say 20, you enter minus 20, then it reverses the direction. Uh, so the, here we have the interrupt routine. So by, every time it detects an interrupt, it's going to change the flag to one, which is going to enable this to be true right here. And then we have the end of gesture, which actually takes care of the uh, control of the stepper. So first thing we detect, is there a gesture? Yes or no. If it is, then switch. We're going to take the read gesture to know which type of gesture it is. And then we do case. So in case of up, down, and all that, we're going to change the direction, the speed of the motor. Or if it's left and right, we're changing the rotation right or left. And near to stop, that's a type of gesture. We'll see that when we test. And the far gesture will start the motor. And then we break after each one. Now, I don't want to go through this code here because it would take too long on video, but I invite you guys to check out the website, like I said at the beginning, and then you could go step by step on each one of these lines. Uh, what I'm doing is checking the direction it's currently, uh, the motor is currently spinning, and then I'm checking the speed, and then I'm adjusting accordingly to the gesture that was detected. And that's the way it works. So now what we're going to do, we're going to upload that code to the Mega, and let's go back to the bench and test it out. All right, so I uploaded the code to the Mega. The easy driver is getting power. Ready to go. Uh, make sure that your module is as much as possible 90 degrees to the gesture you're going to do. And today I'm going to be using a piece of paper to wave over it. I found that using a piece of paper, white paper like this, works better. Uh, your hand will work. Not as reliable, but this one seems to be better. So I'm going to be using this today. So I'm going to start the motor by doing the far gesture which is bringing the paper close to the sensor and moving up quickly. So let's do that. And there we go. That one gets detected fairly easily. Now, if I want to change direction, I need to go, it's rotating left right now. I'm going to go right. So I'm going to go from here to here. So the way I do it is I bring my piece of paper close and then the motor will stop and then I move it. So you'll see that. So the motor stops and then I go right. And there you go, it switched. Now if I want to increase the speed, I'm going to go up from, so here, motor stops, keep going, and it's faster. If I want to stop, I do the near gesture, which is bring the paper close and remove it quickly without going up. So let's do that. There you go, stop, remove it this way. Hey, it all worked. 
So there you go, that's the way it works. So let me just start it up again. There we go. So, you know, it, it's a cool little module. It works fairly well. Uh, it's a little picky sometimes, but if uh, I would put this guy in an enclosure so it's always facing the right way, 90 degrees, and that way you could just wipe your card like that. Uh, but you can control anything. I'm controlling a stepper right now, but it could be lights, it could be uh, anything you want. Uh, so, cool module, uh, not too expensive, easy to find, easy to work with, the library works fairly well. Uh, but you will need to make those modifications, like I told you when uh, we looked at the code, if you're using Omega. Uh, I believe with the Uno it works, but if you just try it, and if it doesn't work, just make those modifications. Uh, so yeah, so that's it guys, that will be uh, the end of this tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to be posting more videos this year about pretty much anything I'm doing. Uh, so uh, keep a lookout for that, and uh, yeah, that will do it. So as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.